This is the Young Adult Show with its host Mokenya Kundi. You are welcome. Welcome, my name is Mokenya Kundi and this is MN Art Africa YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe. We are talking about the young adult. This is the young adult platform where we get to address issues that affect the young adult and especially here in Kenya. So last time we talked about unemployment. So I would love to go back and talk about who exactly is a young adult. This definition ranges from culture, race, and so many factors affect this. That a young adult is anything between late teenagehood and mid-30s. And that is okay, very okay, depending on the culture. There are cultures where watu hupata ID, national identification card, wakiwa 16. So to them, that is an adult. But in Kenya, we get our national identification card at 18. And there are nations that maybe believe that somebody cannot lead at least until they are over 40 or something. So the definition that we take here is... Um, is the definition of between 20 and 39. That is the definition we take, between 20 and 39. That's a young adult in Kenya. Because most people finish high school averagely between 17 and 20. So when you're, tw you're, when you're, when you're in your, uh, your 20th year, you should be in campus, college, or maybe you've started hustling hapakule kidogo kidogo. And until 39, some people are still looking for employment, others are settling, others are buying land, others are doing this or the other. So in Africa, and especially in Kenya, uh, we will take this definition, 20 to 39, that's a young adult. Basically, this age is a preparation age. That's where you set up what exactly your life will be like, what you will invest in, what you will put your energies into. So most people in Kenya want to take the course they studied in campus. So if you studied maybe say computer science, if you studied media, if you studied agriculture or something, education, you take that line. And things have changed. They are not like the way, let me say our parents were, if you do education you just get a job, if you do medicine you get a job, if you do law if you do. Things have changed. We have people who have even PhDs and they are doing jobs you would never even have imagined that they are doing them. Now this takes me to why exactly I want to narrow down after defining who a young adult is. I want to talk about uh, linking the previous topic of unemployment and finding a place in this world that has changed so fast and so drastically that people are forced to do things probably they never studied or even never imagined they would find themselves in. So we're talking curbing unemployment and finding your place even with your degree, even with your diploma, even with your experience. Some people never get a chance to go to college or campus, but they get to have an experience on a, on a particular field. And you tend to think that maybe you will incline on that line and uh, earn a living or even find yourself a career there. Things have really, really changed. So we have to change with time. Change is the only constant in life. It's the thing that is there to stay. Change is here with us to stay. And so we need to adapt. So come in Kenya, let us talk about uh, people who have degrees and they are hawking in Nairobi. This is a fact. This is true. You may see someone hawking in Nairobi, ama anachoma maindi choma, or they are boiling eggs over there, and you're thinking they are, not, they are not learned. That is not true for the people who are thinking like that. And for people who think that they cannot put their degree into kuchoma mayai, you know, uh, moving with the trolley around to sell eggs, moja moja, 20 bob and smokies, uh, you're mistaken. You'll end up staying in the house forever. You'll end up not having the capital you're dreaming of having to, to start something decent to do. So here in the Young Adult pl Platform is where we will discuss all matters. But now we, we just began with unemployment because that is the crisis we have at the moment here in Kenya. We find that in a home, all people, all, all, all the children are, are learned. But up to the age of maybe 35, somebody hasn't gotten a decent kind of a job to do. They are maybe earning 15000 10,000, 8,000 and they are a graduate. So even moving out of the parents' house is a little hard. Moving to the next level of life, like getting married, is a little hard. They can't even purchase land, they can't even build. So we need to have a plan B, ASAP. As in, this is a time to just make moves without even uh, giving it a second thought. It's a time of bravery, as I, as I can put it. 
how many graduates do we have in a year from all universities? If we have 10 universities and every university is giving 2,000 uh, graduates, just, that's a rough estimation. So we're talking about a figure of 20,000 graduates every year. So employment in Kenya is becoming scarce. So even if we export uh, manpower, we still have a whole lot of people around here who don't have jobs. And there are hassles out here that don't really look like smart hassles. Uh, they might not be as decent as you may think, uh, as you may think or as you wished. But the truth is, Zitok's idea. They will give you capital to start that decent thing you're thinking about. They will um, earn your living, rent, clothes. They'll just make you, you stick around to see what to do. So, in the next program, we will talk about a, a couple of hassles. But today, I'll just mention them. And then, this is what I want you to do. I have my social media platforms. Moke Nyakundi on Facebook, Moke Nyakundi on Instagram, uh, Nyakundi underscore Moke on Twitter. Just let's keep this conversation going. You can just either DM me or you can just put a comment there when I put maybe a, a video of this or a photo of, of the young uh, adult platform and let's discuss. If you feel like we need to discuss something else, you can just bring it up and then we will just put it on board and we discuss these things that are affecting us. So let me mention a few hassles. Zinyenimeona work. As in, people are doing these things and they are working for them. If you have a trolley, in uh, a trolley goes for 5,000, it comes with a jiko, and then smokies, you just pop into any supermarket and just get to know smokies in Ireland how much. Maya in a 10 bob, so a crate goes for 300. Your Maya in a 20, 20 bob. How many crates of eggs can you sell if you're in a prime place? You realize, atakamoto uza crate moja, that is 300 bob. 300 bob is what people, when you want to earn 8,000, are getting. They are expected to, smart, to dress smartly, go to work during rush hours, so that the fare is very high. So if you want to save yourself a lot of headache, you can just go there, uze crate moja and my eye, and a, and a packet of smoky. You'll go to your house with a decent 400 shillings or 500 shillings. It's a good place to start, especially for those ones who do not have any place at all there in the house. Na pia kuna kunda, kuza, you know, maindi choma. Sayo kama kuna maindi kwenu, ama miwa. Like for those guys who come from Kisi, like I do, you know, my name is Moke Nyakundi, I come from Kisi, there's a lot of sugar cane over there. You can just tunaike wa kwa gari, unakuja then unauza. There's a way they walk with wheelbarrows around, and then unezeka wa siwengine wa tatu wa ine. Then you pay them on commission. Say if you make a profit of 800 shillings, because easy to these are fast moving things, this is food. If you make a profit of around 800 shillings, what you do, unaika mse, uneza ata share, atu kimpe for so. There is no issue about it. So that they get some meal, and you get some meal as well. So we need to get off the white collar idea. We need to just get off the white collar idea and just hustle. And hustle really, really good. So there are businesses out here. Kuna place unaiza enda tu skuodi, kama mje, you know, mjengo. Somebody was telling me they earn a thousand bob a day. Which office in this nation will give you a thousand bob a day unless you prove it? You prove that you're worth a thousand shillings. How many people are earning over thirty thousand? No kienda mjengo, you ni a clean twenty five thousand. This is the Young Adult Program once more. My name is Mo Kenya Kundi. This is where we discuss in our preparation years the young adult when you're schooling, when you're out of school, when you're looking for employment, when you want to start a business, when you want to buy a land, what do you do? What is that thing that is pressing you? You just bring it on board, we discuss on the Young Adult platform. So thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, where we will talk about more other issues, kindly make it interactive on my social media platforms. Mo Kenya Kundi on Facebook, Mo Kenya Kundi on Instagram, Mo Kenya Kundi on TikTok, Nya Kundi underscore Moke on Twitter. Let's keep this interactive. Let's talk. What's your side of the story? What, what is the hassle that you're doing? If you have your certificate in the house and you're still winning out here, what exactly are you doing? Let's share this. We can help a brother who is stuck somewhere and they don't know what to do. Or may suck a job, or may suck a job, it's a year to Two, three, four years after finishing campus and they are still in the house. What are you doing out there? Please put it on the platform. We will share it. We will share screenshots. We will share. Just say what exactly are you doing? What hustle are you into?
kitu and if you're employed and you're still hustling out here umeshikanisha job na biz tell us what exactly are you doing so that uh, we can share and help each other so that we grow together let us grow communally when you grow alone it doesn't really help much but when we grow communally we help each other my name once more is mo kenya kundi on the young adult platform here on, on m and arts africa uh, youtube channel kindly subscribe subscribe share it widely thank you for joining me until next time goodbye that has been the young adult show hosted by mo kenya kundi see you next time same place same time thank you